Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can take some time to learn about body language and nonverbal communication, the incredible impact it will leave on your life being able to understand what people are trying to get across without them even saying it. You'll, you, you will be able to understand whether somebody's lying to you, full stop. You'll be able to know if someone is attracted to you or the things you've said, full stop. And you will also be able to understand your own tics and how you put signals out into the world, which uh, you weren't even consciously aware of before you started to pay attention to these um, this form of communication. All right. So if you want to learn more and learn a real life superpower, I would recommend you click like and subscribe. If you want me to do a video personalized to something you are interested in or particular behaviors you see in the world which you want to understand the reason for uh, such as does she like me um, what does this mean what does that mean click the link in my bio i've got a patreon and i will answer them questions and i will give you heaps of value so without further ado what we're going to talk about today is smoking behaviors so uh, whether you smoke a cigarette or something else, or see individuals smoking, whichever substance, uh, these behaviours are going to show an insight into that person's state of mind, uh, or potentially the subconscious state of mind, something they're not potentially aware of at that moment in time. All right. So thank you once again for watching. We're going to get on to the direction of the smoke. And maybe cross over into a few different little tidbits along the way but we're going to have a look at the direction the smoke is exhaled okay we're also going to look at a little bit of the inhaling so the exhale of the smoke where it's blown and the intensity of it will show you any underlying emotions whether they be positive or negative all right so, let's talk about inhales briefly. If an individual is to inhale deep and low into the body, that's a means of sedating and bringing calm to that individual, okay? Such as meditating when we're taught to breathe in and out, just nice and slow and steady, time to think, time to enjoy what you're doing and it gives you space of mind. So somebody who is breathing in deep is really wanting to harness that calmness, that stillness at that moment in time. So you will have to pay attention to the context as to where this is, all right? Now, on the contrary, if it's a quick puff, it shows that hit before an individual has to get moving or get to work or pursue what they have in mind. All right, so if it's just a <laughs> it shows that they are in a rush, not only through their actions, but through where their mind is racing, okay? So rather than taking the time of the slow, deep inhale where the individual is taking the time to think, this person who is taking the quick puff has already thought and already knows where they need to be, okay? So you will see the quick puff when an individual has two minutes before they have to get back to work uh, in the smoking area in a workplace, whereas the deep inhale is for that individual who is on the phone uh, with half an hour to go in the um, smoking area, um, in the same situation on their lunch break, uh, potentially having a conversation with someone and just taking time to talk about a particular scenario and so forth, whereas, um, you know, their counterpart has places to be. Now let's talk about the exhale, right? So a quick exhale and a upwards shows positive, all right? So we talk about gravity-defined gestures, such as the smile. I think the smile is the easiest way to put it because the smile goes upwards, yeah, naturally. And that shows positive feelings, all right? Positive emotion, whereas the frown droops down. It gets dragged to the floor, okay? And that shows negative closed emotion all right 
So, well, not necessarily closed, my apologies, but, you know, it goes hand in hand with closed body language. So, the closure of the body and the drooping and the sagging and the feeling bad for yourself, whereas the upwards is positive, hands up in the air, we're celebrating, we want to reach the sky, we want to go beyond the sky, things are good, all right? So, if the individual blows the smoke up in the air, Within reason, because you, you have to pay attention, maybe it's, um, you know, polite to do that at the time, they don't want to blow the smoke in anyone's face or towards a dog or a child or something down below, so they might do so because of that, but generally speaking, if it was by choice, they chose to blow up in the, uh, in the sky on a subconscious basis, it's because they're feeling pretty good, you know, especially if they just fire it out, <sighs> you know what I mean, feeling like a boss, especially if you put a cigar in their hands. You know, if you want to picture that. So, let's look at the opposite. The individual blows the smoke down and potentially a lot slower than the quick exhale of the upwards. That signifies negativity to an extent. It's the counter opposite. It's the yin and yang of the smoking. All right. The slow exhale is more considerate. Whereas the quick exhale is brief burst of positivity. All right. And that's about it. So I will just re-clarify just so it all makes sense and you can just sort of dial it in. What goes up is positive for the most part when it comes to nonverbal communication. And what goes down tends to be negative. What goes up tends to relate to open body language. The hands up in the air, the um, feet up in the air, the jumping up in the air, the raising of the eyebrows to open up the face. It all tends to come around, I would say, 90% of open body language. It tends to be good. If you're communicating with someone who shows um, upwards uh, based and open body language, that's a great benefit to you and them. Whereas if it's closed and the smoke is blowing down and their face is looking down and the eyes are looking down and the shoulders are sloping to the floor, that's detrimental, that's closed body language. When the head lifts up, yeah, to blow upwards, it exposes the neck. The person's not scared. The person's not scared. When the individual has to blow the smoke down to the floor, the individual covers up the neck. And as we know, the mind and the body are interlinked. So when you act confident and when you act macho and when you act whichever way you want to act through the body, the physiological, the psychological follows and vice versa. Our body acts in the way our mind thinks. Okay, so we can manipulate both means through changing one and the other will follow. All right. So the individual blows down to the floor and then suddenly starts feeling a bit down in the dumps, even more so than they did before, because they're now covering themselves up, they're slooping to the floor, they're closer to the floor than they ever have been, whereas they could be looking upwards to the sky and the infinite, all right? So take that into consideration. The quick exhale is a positive. And the slow exhale isn't necessarily a negative, but it's more considerate. And shows more space for thought and room and potentially enjoyment of the smoke, you know? Anyway, I hope this was food for thought. Of course, like everything, right? You need to pay attention to, especially in this case, you need to pay attention to the environment. You need to pay attention to the context. And... Just look at the body as a whole because this is using a external object uh, as a means and a medium to expose how the individual is feeling internally, okay? So it doesn't necessarily come with the purity of the person's actions. It's used as a medium to explain, okay? So uh, a message has more chance to be muffled whilst they're using this, but still... The majority of it follows the same pattern as what we've looked at in prior videos. So click like, click subscribe. My Patreon's down below if you want to request a video, if you've got anything you want to get off your chest. Click it. Let's get in touch. Cheers.